Um, all right. So first of all, I'm excited because I was just telling the girls that in my new coach call, it was getting to know people. My Emerald coach, I feel like I know some of them. And then I got on this call and like, you guys have been with me and we've been together. And so I just want to like take this and run with it since we're like pushing for diamond group. Um, so I talked with my success partner, Emily, about like what to do for like this pod, how we can help each other the most. Um, and I was telling her that a couple of you have like your one in one, a couple of you are like three and two, a couple of you, like you're just, everyone's like in a different spot. Um, and so we thought about focusing on power hour hitting success club. And that was it. Like just talking about those things. And so I was going to just show, um, I printed off some of these, they call them BATs, business activity trackers, but um, like just to show you what they look like. And so I can screenshot them and put them in like the team page. I think I put them in there before. Um, I just never really did anything with them and I felt awful about it. Um, so I was just going to explain like what working your business actually means. Cause I feel like I'm like, okay, go work your business. And you guys are like, okay, like sounds good. What's on Netflix. Cause we don't know what she's talking about. Cause I would definitely be like, <laughs> I'd do the same thing. Um, so I don't have to go through and talk with you guys like about posting, um, about like sharing that opportunity on, um, uh, she doesn't know how to call in now. I have to find the number. Um, so like before I didn't have to talk to you guys about like posting and stuff. Cause every single person on this call, like already knows how to post and things like that. Um, we just need to get some of you posting like more often, more than just beach body and like posting more, posting more about like you and stuff and sharing you, um, and your journey. So then that way people can like, um, like and comment on your stuff. So I'm going to screen share and just show you, um, <laughs> just go ahead. Okay. We'll record. Okay, so Instagram or Facebook, either or, it doesn't matter, um, but if you go to Facebook, come on, computer, in the left-hand corner, there's like a nine by, or three by three, so like a nine square thing. This should be like all the photos you have on your Facebook page, or like this one is one I got tagged in, but like by looking at these photos, like you should be able to see kind of like who the heck I am, like kind of tell a little bit of a story. Um, obviously I post way too much about like fitness, but that's like, that's me. Like, that's just me, I guess. I don't know. And then I try to share, you know, things about like my life or whatever. I actually suck at that part. So I'm like sitting here telling you guys, like we need to work on sharing us and like I'm included. So I try to do this today. Um, Carver obviously had to be in the photo. Um, <laughs> so I was like, just taking a photo. It's just like some sort of inspiration thing. So I got it from my personal development um, from this morning, it was actually from Josh. He was just asking, you know, like if you got paid $30 an hour at job number one and $90 an hour at job number two and job number two was opening up and giving you more hours, would you decline that and go work at job number one? Or would you take the extra hours at job number two? And I was like, everybody would go to job number two, like $90 an hour versus like 30 bucks an hour. And he's like, okay, so then why don't you make Beachbody something bigger than it is now? And I was like, I've never thought of it that way. I always thought of it as just sharing and helping five to 10 people. Like I kind of put a limit on myself and on my business. And so like, I've been trying to like embrace that and open it up and open like the vision part of it. So this is just like an inspirational photo with the dog. And then here's what actually happened. I have to show you guys this because you know who Carver is. Maybe. All right, fine. I won't show them. <laughs> um, there's my fitness photo because fitness is one of my five things that I always post about. Um, my computer is going to be really slow, so that's cool. Um, but anyway, there I am again. Okay, cool. Um, let me close out of this part. Okay, so – Posting on social media two to three times a day is like vital. Um, and the reason for that is uh, that's where I get all of my people from. People are like, where do you get these people? How do you connect with these people? I'm like, they comment or like on my photo. And so it's kind of like a, a thing. Like if someone comments on my photo, I just go back through and I'm just like, you know, hey girl, thanks for your love on my transformation last night. It's been such an incredible journey. Are you on your own too? Or something like that. Like always end in a question 
send those out every single day. Go through your posts and send those out. It might be one person. It might be two people. It might be 10 people. It doesn't matter. Go send them out. Um, cause those are the people that are already initiating with you, talking with you. Um, the other place that I get it is like, if you, um, go like to your Instagram and stuff, you can check out like your Instagram stories. You can do polls on Instagram. You can check out your posts, those kinds of things. Um, otherwise what I did was I literally just went to my Facebook page and I went through every single person I had and I wrote their name down if I thought that they possibly would be interested in some sort of fitness. And so Megan happens to be on the call. I went to high school with her brother. And so um, what's really crazy is that she used to post fitness before she got on Beachbody. Like she used to post that she was at the gym or like lifting a weight or something or, and like I was watching her and I had like, like on her stuff, comment on her stuff. And then like I sent her a message and was like, Hey, would you be interested in this? And like, I'm pretty sure you said no at first, actually. I can't really remember. <laughs> but um, I was like, all right, cool. So I kept liking and commenting. And then we started talking back and forth. And then she just signed up. Like, that's just how it works. Like people either are watching you liking and commenting or when you scroll through, I think it was like Allie one day was like, one of my friends was going to sign up with something else. And you're like, oh, no, like do beach body, do this journey with us and get signed up with, I think it was Allie. I can't remember. Um, but like when you're on Facebook, if you scroll through Facebook and you see someone post like a question, like, what should I make for supper tonight? Send them a message and be like, Hey, you should totally try this. This is what I've been doing. We shared this in our challenge group today, like giving them like pieces to it. So having conversations, um, the one thing I'll tell you is you can't like just sit here besides Nicole, like her boss is working for her apparently, like her assistant, like signing people up and stuff. <laughs> but like everybody else on this call, um, we actually have to like go and message people and that's okay to do that as a coach. Once things get going, once your posts get going and they get traction and stuff, people are going to start to like message you too. And that's okay. Cause that's super nice. Um, so like on my like page, that's how Nicole and Allie got started with us is they saw one of my posts, but how does she see my post and see my page if I'm not posting and sharing and connecting? Does that make sense? So like get your butt out there, share your journey, share your life, share weird things that happen, whatever it is, share it with people. It doesn't always have to be about beach body. And I'm saying that to myself because I freaking post about fitness all the time. Cause that's like my brain. I need to post more about like weird stuff that my spouse and I do, or like with the dog, like sitting over here gnawing at my toe, like all this weird stuff. Like I need to post about that. Um, it's okay. It's not beach body. You can still sign people up and still help people, even though it's not beach body post. Um, I know like April posted a photo of like her and her daughter and they were eating ice cream one time. And I was like, that's a cute post. Like she's going to get a lot of people commenting and talking to her that are probably moms who probably want to work out with her, who probably want to be her. So they probably want to join her. Like, so just sharing those things. So, um, first thing that I do when I'm working my business is I go to my posts, anyone who likes and comments, I message them no matter what. Um, then what I do is, um, you can send out birthday messages. That's totally up to you. Um, that's just something that, I don't know. It's just super quick. I just copy and paste like a little birthday message to everyone whose birthday it is. Um, and then I just go and I have like a list of people who I think would be like a really good coach or I have like my list of friends I'm working from. So I go to their pages and like and comment on their pages. And then I'll probably like send a couple of messages to them um, just to kind of get that wheel going. And then um, Instagram and Instagram stories is way different because you can go and see who's creeping on you. You can go and see like who's liking and who's doing your poll on Instagram or who's on your posts and stuff. And you can connect with them as well. So getting out there, talking to people, messaging them, all of that stuff. Um, and then honestly, you guys, like from there, like working out, personal development, um, adding new people, talking to new people, inviting people is the most important part, following up with them, obviously, and just answering your messages. Like when I say like I cleared my inbox, that means I went all the way to the bottom or like clicked unread and I just cleared all my messages and like I actually talked to everybody I was supposed to, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know, hopefully that makes sense. So I work 30 minutes on the way to school in the morning and 30 minutes on the way from school. If I ride with Aaron, unless I'm driving myself, then I don't. Um, so 
that's an hour of my day that I know I usually get for work. Um, otherwise I try to work at night, like an hour or something like that at night. So what I really want you guys to do is like schedule a time where you can actually like sit down and work your business. And if you want to, like, I'm willing to like hop on a zoom call like this, I'll mute myself and my crazy music and stuff. And like, we can just sit and work like on the computer, like Megan and I used to do that. Um, like get on a zoom call and then just like work our business. We kind of chatted a little too much sometimes, but, um, it's like she did me. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> that's something, <laughs> shut up. That's something that we can like schedule if you guys want to. Um, cause most of us have this time at night, like from eight to nine, we're free most of the time, even if it's eight 30 to nine, if we just hop on here, so we know we're working our business and then we just go through all of our messages, go through adding people, talking to people and like going from there. I think that would be a good idea for us. Um, especially, you know, doing our power hours and everything. Um, so power hour in a short is add, connect, invite, follow up Four things, adding people, connecting with them, inviting them, following up with them. Like that's pretty much your power hour. We all work out already. We all drink our Shakeology or do performance line. I'm not worried about anybody on this call right now for that. Um, when that is a problem, your business is like, there is no business. Like, so you have to make sure you're working out and drinking your shake or having performance line or whatever. Make sure you guys are reading personal development because I have one of my new coaches who's struggling right now. Um, and I talked to her today and she's like, yep, I dove into my book last night. I'm like, keep reading that thing. Keep diving into that. Keep filling your cup up because that's going to help obviously. Um, and then just really working those like pockets of time and stuff and working through that. And, um, just being present in your challenge group. So if you're running a challenge group with, um, you know, your coaches are in there or your challengers are in there, just make sure you're liking and commenting on their stuff, being active with them because they will turn into your coaches. Cause I'm actually pretty sure all of you on here besides April, um, were all my challengers at one point and then turned into coaches. So like, that's, that's how it works. Like that's where you get really good coaches from is challengers who turn into coaches. Um, so power hour, if you track your business, it's totally up to you. What I do is I use a notebook and I label it Monday, March 19th. And then whoever I talk to that day, their name goes down and right behind their name, I put like challenge pack info, um, interested in coaching, um, like whatever you like talk about just really short. And then Tuesday I do the exact same thing. Wednesday, exact same thing. The way I follow up is when I get to Wednesday, I go back to Monday and go through the entire list of people and check back with them and cross their names off as I'm checking back with them. And then I add them to my list on Wednesday. So my list should be pretty big Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or if you want to do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or whatever, um, your list should be big when you're doing like follow-ups and check backs. Um, if people sign up with me, I highlight them and I have like a little dance party that like they ha I highlighted them. So they signed up. Um, otherwise you guys, like I literally cross it off and then I move them to the next day and I just keep going. And that's how I track my business. Um, I wish I had some really cool fancy way to tell you, but that's honestly how I'm doing it right now and it's working. So like, I just want to share that with you. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. Um, like get a sheet of paper or a notebook or whatever. Um, like I have one of these, like one of these little, these little notebooks and like the pages in the inside have like the things. And so you can use one of these. Otherwise this is what it looks like. So like I have the person down and then I have like 80 day obsession. Like, so these people were interested when we did 80 day obsession and like, that's how I do it. So that's how I track my business. And then I had people in a sneak peek. So it says coach sneak peek. And then I have their names. And then like this just shows you 224. And then all the people I talked to and then what I said to them. And that's literally how I like track stuff. And if I'm talking to Megan and let's say she's like, nope, I will sign up with you in April. I have a list that just says April and I just put people on it. And April 1st, I'm like going through April fools. Uh, no, April 2nd, I'll go through and like message all of them. Otherwise they'll probably be like, well, um, I go through and message them and talk to them in April. Like I have people who say like December and you better bet I'm in their inbox in December. And they're like, 
holy crap. Like I told her December because I figured she'd never check up with me. And then I do. And then I'm like, all right, sign me up. <laughs> so that's how I track my business. Power hour. I just come in here. I go through all my posts. I talk to people. I clear my inbox. I reach out to people and have connections. I think that when I go to bed at night, when I wake up tomorrow morning, if I have no notifications on my messenger or my Instagram, I didn't do my job as a coach. I should have messages in my inbox when I wake up because people should be checking them and messaging me back while I'm sleeping or in the morning or something. So my messenger should always have like something going on in it. If that drives you nuts as a person, like I guess you're going to like rock your business, but I always want to have like a red dot next to my Instagram or my Facebook. Cause that's telling me I'm doing my job. I'm talking to people, having conversations, if that makes sense. So, um, find time in your day, an hour, two hours would be freaking incredible. Like I really push to find two hours, but most of the time I spend that, like, I don't even know in my calculus book somewhere and it's awful. Um, so an hour a day, it does not have to be like eight to nine. It can be any pockets of time, you know, like I used to work on my lunch break. I used to work, um, after school, like those kinds of things, but I can't like when I'm sitting at school. So I work before school, after school, and then when I get home. So schedule that time and show up for yourself. Um, push for five days to show up five days for yourself and your business. Um, I will be honest. I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I work Saturday, Sunday. So I actually take Thursday night off unless Aaron and I like fight or something Then I'm in here working. Um, <laughs> but Honestly, I, I take Thursday night off because like I'm exhausted from the week and from working hard and doing calls and stuff. And I haven't seen him for three days. And so like, then we just hang out on Thursday. Um, but then like Friday night, usually we're doing something, but we've been really lame lately. So we've just been sitting at home watching like Dateline. So then I work my business a little bit at night, but, um, I really try hard to work six days a week. Um, I know it sounds like a lot, six out of seven days, but if you're only working 30 to 30 minutes to an hour a day, it's really not that much. And if it's making you an income and like improving your business and stuff, um, like that should be something that you try to plug in. So if you guys are interested, let me know. I would love to just like pop on a zoom, even if we don't talk or anything, just to show up and work our business. Cause I felt like, yeah, I felt like when Megan and I did that, like I actually was like, I have to go work. Like, I need to go in there and work. And I actually came in here and worked my business. <laughs> so, um, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Do you want I to, to, I need to find a market. Like I just, I'm just out there being all weird <laughs> and maybe. being like, Hey, here's my fitness. The market's weird. Maybe I'm a 30 year old single dog mom. <laughs> How did I blow that stuff up? <laughs> Like, hashtag goals. <laughs> Kylie's over here trying to get married. I'm over here, like, I'm getting, goals getting married. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I, uh, I think I want to rescue a dog. No. <laughs> there you go. There's your... There's no. Your cat. No. My cat. It's like a dog. No. No cats. It we plays don't. better than my dogs. We don't do cats. <laughs> okay, so what do you think like 8 30 you want to do like 8 30 to 9 at least 30 minutes yeah I can do every day but Tuesday okay and, and I have four three more nights of Tuesdays okay it's Monday Wednesday okay let's do Monday Wednesday Thursday and then um because I don't want to like make plans with you on Friday night and then like us actually do something <laughs> on Friday night <laughs> um so let's do Monday Wednesday Thursday okay 8 30 to 9 we can like pop in here for 30 minutes so then if you guys are available like pop on with us but I'm just gonna like pop on here and then like just work our business like I used to just mute it and then we played music and just worked and it it was wonderful we usually um, had a glass of wine but since 80 days is no <laughs> I drink water in Malibu. I probably shouldn't be drinking all any. I'm not drinking right now, I swear. But if I do. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that will help too with like power hours. And I'll actually open it up to like the team if they want to just pop on to see. 
I want to, I'm going to look up some videos about power hours, like how to run them different ways to do them because everybody works their business differently. This is just what works for me. Like I used to spend 30 minutes messaging like, Hey April, how's it going? Like, Oh my God, your kids are so cute. What, how old are they? And like talking to her for hours and like, I knew her like shoe size. I knew like her dog's name. I knew her husband's job, like all this stuff. And then she like, I don't know, went and got it works yesterday or something. Like I would spend so long like forming and talking to people and then like they would just never like join. And so now I'm like, how can I move my business forward? Like that's what I always ask myself. How can I move my business forward? And honestly, going to my Facebook posts, whoever likes and comments wants me to talk to them anyways because they liked and commented. And so like, why would I not, you know, message those guys first. And then that's when I go to like Instagram and kind of mess around a little bit. Um, you know, or like my Instagram story, like I'll do like a poll or something to try to just get some traction. Like I actually have a girl I'm trying, I need to reach back out to tonight. She like this morning at like six o'clock was like, yeah, I need more information. I'm like, Whoa, it's like five 45 girl. Like I'm still sweating my butt off. Um, so I don't know. That's just, where I get my people from. I honestly don't just sit here and like wait for people to message me. Cause if I did, like I'd still be sitting here and no one would be on this call because we'd be screwed. So reach out to people. Um, and one thing that Josh told me to tell you guys was like invite, like you're a rock star. So think of right now, somebody who you idolize, who you would love to hang out with, love to talk to. And so I always like think of um, Jennifer Lawrence. Like she is somebody who I would love to just meet and like pick her brain and just talk to her. She's such a badass. And he was like, how would you feel if that person messaged you and was like, Hey Megan, how's it going? How are your dogs? Like, would you be, Oh, she is trying to get me to watch her new movie that's coming out. Or would you be like, Oh, Hey girl. Like, yeah, this is my dog. I'm so pumped. And so I was like, okay. So when you're inviting people, when you're talking to them, you're a freaking badass. Like go message. Like you're a badass. Like you're a coach for a reason. And like, I tell April every day, like she's like a mom and she has like better abs than like freaking Sean T like go invite people. <laughs> yeah, April, I'm jealous of you. It's just freaking insane. Like, do you, what do you eat? I feel like a challenger. What do you eat? What do you do? Like, how do you work? <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. Like invite people. You guys look incredible. You guys have tons of transformation photos, like share those with people. Um, I've been trying to share a transformation three times a week. If you guys want to do that challenge with me too, I've been doing Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, sometimes Thursday goes to Friday, it just depends on what I'm doing. And like, I don't know, but I've been trying to do that, sharing it three times. No. No. Sometimes my transformations are not like pounds and inches. It's like, um, my business, like where I was before, like my shitty shooty, sorry, <laughs> my bad coaching photos and like where I'm at right now, like sharing confidence, sharing all of that, sharing income, sharing whatever it is. So um, yeah, I've been doing that three times a week. So if that's something I literally went back to challenge groups, like way back two years ago, that's where I got that post from last night. Um, so sharing those three times a day, if you have time, I know Mary did this, but if you have time to create that challenge group application, um, it's going to save your life. Like people fill the application out. They'll never like and comment on my stuff, but they'll like fill my application out. I sent this girl like six messages. She's never messaged me back this morning. Guess who my application was from that girl. I was like, why don't you ever message me back? So I'm waiting for to hear from her. So we'll see if she actually like messages me back. But I was surprised that she filled out the app because I never hear from her. She never messages me. Obviously she's seen my stuff though. Cause she saw that. Um, and I just, you can use the same questions. It's Google forms. It's free. So, and then I just post the link in the comments. I don't ever post it underneath the photo. Cause like Facebook is weird. If you put like a link in your photo, sometimes they're weird about that. So, um, I always just put it in the comments and then, um, I have that also linked on link tree. If you know what that is, it's L I N K T R E. So link tree, um, you can put it on your Instagram and so people can fill it out there too, which is super nice. Is that the same as the coach application? Um, the questions are, there's only like six questions, I think. Okay. Coach I have the, 
I have the coach application on there on my link tree. I just posted, um, let's see. I just posted a photo on my Facebook page, I believe. Underneath is my challenge group application. Just click on it and just copy it. Okay. Where do I go to get that? Google form. Just go to Google and like, uh, in your Google drive, do you use Google like Gmail? Yeah. Like if I you go to like the Google. squares and then it has like the green, yellow drive, click that. And then it'll say Google, um, slides presentation or whatever. Um, like the, um, Google sheets, Google doc, and then it'll have Google forms. Okay. But yeah, like make them, you can add your own photos and like wording and stuff. I took the wording from some other coach and like changed it around a little bit. So, um, kind of like try to make it my own or whatever, but yeah. So quick question. Do you know how much Shakeology for customers is with tax and shipping? It's like one forty fifteen. Okay. Yeah. What she said. Um, yeah, that app is on there. I just looked. Okay. I'll so, do that one too. Um, April, I don't know if you use <clears throat> Google form or not, but you can use that. I know, I think it was, I was trying to look, I think it's Mary that made it or something, but it's just been nice because then, um, you have all like their you ask for their email. So you have all their emails, which is super friendly. Cause then you can just take those and people fill those out randomly. I don't know why they don't just like and comment, but they just, sometimes it's just a little scary. Do you have yours linked to your Instagram? What do you mean? Like in your bio, could you, did you link it into your bio on your Instagram page? <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my, uh, speaking of, <laughs> are you drinking? Oh, Aaron's had a long week. Me too. Hey, too. Hi, Aaron. What's up? <laughs> These are my boss babes. We're busy. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, so on Instagram, it's called Linktree. And so if you go to my... Uh, what do you call it? Like personal page? Like, I don't know what to call it. Um, Instagram page? Yeah, and it says link tree. Oh, okay. And then you just click that, and then this is what it looks like. Hmm. So they can do fitness, they can do, um, if they click like my fitness challenge, it takes them to challenge group application. If they want to do 80 day obsession, that one link probably doesn't work anymore actually. Oh yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Um, join as a coach is like the coaching application and then the follow me one takes them to my Facebook. So I think it takes them to my like page. Yeah. It takes I them to my people through Instagram. So. And like, I don't know why, but I was like, I never get anyone from Instagram. And then I was like, count, like looking at my people and stuff. I was like, oh, I guess I do. But my age group is mainly Instagram. Yeah, we're old. We know. We got it. Thanks. <laughs> I have to be reminded every day. By the way, so. And then make sure you guys are using like Instagram stories. I don't, I suck at them. Like, over the weekend, people are like, shut up, stop, like, going on your Instagram story. But, like, during the week, I, I need to get better at it because I'm teaching and stuff. And so, yeah. Um, but using those helps a lot. The polls helps a lot. Um, trying to think. Um, hitting success club. So, getting to success club six. So, I know Allie is not on here, but Nicole and Kylie, you should be getting there um, at two you want to get to six. Like, so we need to work on finding two more people in the next like 10 some days. And I think April is at, she at four, I think. Um, one girl signing up tomorrow for sure. And then I have another girl who um, I'm waiting for her to message me back, but she said she was very interested. Okay. So yeah. Cause we want to get to success club because like, 
obviously income, like rank helps, volume helps. Um, and then it helps like our team when everyone hits success club. Yeah, April, I think is at four. Am I at two? Um, I think so. My team beach body thing is like taking forever. But like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, almost twelve people at at two or four. Like so we need to like as a team come together. And Megan's gonna like blow us all out of the water with like twenty in the next <laughs> nine days. <laughs> but like hitting it's success club so like saves everyone. It helps our team, helps you as a coach, like especially, you know, if you're helping like discount coaches and stuff like that helps too. Um, and then we just want to be at success club because that helps our ranking too. And let's see. And you get cool prizes and stuff too. Like last month we got umbrellas. Is Nicole in here still? Did you get your email for the umbrella yet? From uh, February? I haven't seen it. You should probably call and be like, yo, I hit Success Club. Where's my umbrella? Okay. Because, like, write it down. Like, live chat with them. I don't think I ever got my 80-day obsession one from, like, January or whatever. What do you mean? Your tank tops and shirts and stuff? We just got ours in the mail, so... Like the, yeah, the pink caps and stuff, because I hit Success Club in January. Yeah. So, did you look in your junk? Because it goes to the junk, and then it's always Team Beach Body Recognition. And then you have to, like, fill out the form for it. I just deleted all my junk mail the other day. Oh, my God. Go through the trash. I deleted my trash, too. <laughs> You're out of luck. <laughs> you just deleted your tank top. Oh, but I have like 400 junk emails. I wasn't going to look through all of them. They're probably all beach body stuff. You can search it. Oh my no, gosh. No, my beach body actually normally comes through just fine because I have it set to like alarm me every time I get beach body stuff emails. Oh. My uh, recognition still goes to the junk. It doesn't like me. Okay. Um, do you guys have any like questions, anything I can help you with anything that we can like work on together? I'm putting this down for eight 30 to nine Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Crap. I just invited myself to work on Thursday nights. <laughs> I'll do it. Um, okay. So anything else that I can like find, do look anything to like help and stuff. Oh, kids are so sweet. <laughs> anything you think of I want you to tell me every day when you see my post if they are shitty posts or if they're good posts okay so I can do I can like try to do some like check-ins on posting too um we could do that in like our diamond in like the thread that we have like after you post let's just drop like do like the thumbs up or something okay and then if we have like, so then if I'm like sitting at school and I have, and I have time, like I'll go back through and I try to like, like, and comment on your guys' stuff. It's not that I like hate you and don't support you, but whoever I'm talking to in messenger, like that's who pops up on my Facebook. And so like some of my new coaches, I'm trying to like, let them know that cause I don't want them to like, think I don't support them. It's just that like, if you don't pop up on my newsfeed right away, then I, I don't like spend my hours at night before I go to bed. Like, scrolling Facebook because otherwise I would like I don't know use my mind um so we can do that like in our thread um that way we can all respond to each other then so then if you if you do that so if you do the um just put like the thumbs up and that just means you just posted. And so then if we have like time that day, we'll go back through and I will look at them or like, like and comment. So then if I liked and comment on it, then you'll know I saw it. So then if I didn't just be like, I don't know, like I'll just check it before I, I'll try to check it before I go to bed. Cause that's more posts and stuff. I think that's a good idea though. And we can all like just look at posts for like ideas and stuff too. Okay. 
so 8 30 to 9 at night doing power hours checking in on posts um megan we need to get your butt to success club for the colorado trip too is april I, I suck i'm me too. me too april did you ask your hubby yet do i need to give him a call is she on here somewhere I think we can't hear because of her headphones. Oh, here, let me unmute you. Oh, I can't. Oh, because she's like on her phone and like on. Oh, there we go. Hey, what up, what up? No, I think it's her headphones. She's probably not talking yet. Talk to us. <laughs> let me unmute your phone. Unplug your headphones. There, now you're good. Can you hear me? Whoa! Uh, I to yell. <laughs> can you really hear me? Yeah. yeah. It's freaking <laughs> sweet. Like my phone is like shattered in a million pieces and it doesn't work in selfie mode, so <laughs> it never works for anything. Yeah, it's working. Sweet. Did you, did you ask your hubby okay. yet? No, I'm scared too. <laughs> Do I need to call him? No. I'll ask him. I'll see what he says. My mom is going, so. Oh my gosh. I had to ask my dad. Okay. My dad was like, well, what are you going to do? I'm like, hang out with girls and take photo shoots and give them a bunch of prizes and meet Josh Coates. And he was like, who's Josh Coates? Like, ask me 21. <laughs> and I like, no, that would be, I would be like super excited to go. Yeah. And he like is going to pick every single one of our brains. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'll ask. I'll plan it. I'll plan it. And I talk to him tomorrow, so we'll see what else he's got up his sleeve. Okay. <sighs> yeah, get your butt message in, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, last, last month, I, like, messaged, like, thousands of people, and I got, like, three responses that were, like, no. Good. Then you message a thousand more people. I was, ex it was exhausting. You have to do like consistency. So like five to 10 people every single day for like 30 days and you'll be at like two star diamond. I guarantee it. Like you just have to be consistent with it. Like I'm not even kidding you. I bug people every single day. Like it's so awesome. I love bugging people. It's, it like brings me joy. Well, it like... I don't know. My market just is like terrible. Like, cause 30 year olds are either getting pregnant or being like, eh, I just want to be fit. Mm -hmm. So my big thing my... right now <laughs> yeah, that's like, my on, on Instagram, all of the people that are like following me or that I'm following are like 80 day obsession people, like in the coach challenge group. Yeah. So, like, I don't even know how to contact people on Instagram that aren't already involved. So, when you're using your, um, like, hashtags, I noticed, like, you've been changing, like, your hashtags that you're using. Um, yeah. You actually use, like, mom life, mom bod, like, you use good ones like that. Think of other things that make you weird. Like, don't do obsessed. Don't use, um... Like, just try to stay away from, like, anything that has anything to do with beach body, because that's what other coaches do. Jesus, your abs are everywhere. You better use a hashtag, like, abs. Abs are <laughs> on fire. I created abs. Um, yeah, Small so, like, abs. the hashtags that you're using, um, just make sure when mm -hmm. you go click on them that it shows people who are not beach body coaches. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, yeah. So that like, makes sense. If, I, if I click obsessed, it's like all these weird people and then beach body coaches. Yeah. My favorite hashtag, hashtag is trying to get fit. Oh, that's a good one. Um, so like just think of things that describe you and then go to the search bar and like search hashtags for those things and they'll bring up other okay. suggestions and ideas. So like I use, um, let's see, like tired teacher. OCD teacher, target teacher, like none of those have anything to do with Beachbody. Um, Hashimoto's, yeah. Nike women, newlywed, um, teacher life, fit couple, dog mama's fuck. <laughs> like I just use like weird <laughs> hashtags like that. But I actually went and searched them because some okay. of them are really creepy. So you want to make sure mm -hmm. that you like 
look at them. Too. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and then like Instagram stories and stuff too. Like that's how I know Kylie always watches my stories because she's always like my first person. Like as she's my she's everyone's first person. <laughs> And then I should be like, Kylie, go work your business. Get off Instagram stories. Like, I post some, and as if I see, like, a thing come up, I'm like, yeah, it's Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even look at the first, like, two. I'm always like, I know it has, to, one of them has to be Kylie. <laughs> Whoops. That's funny. Okay. Anything else that you guys can think of that we need to need help on that I can find calls or videos or I'm going to do the power hour things to kind of help explain those a little bit more. Anything else you can think of? Um, Get my butt to actually invite. I don't know. Inviting. I'll find some. Please. Give me some good, um, what's it called? PD, personal development. Like what to listen to or what? Yeah, because I I'm in the car two you go three on, hours a day. Go on Beachbody like their podcasts and listen to all of the National Week of Health. Like you will literally learn so much from them. Like this morning, was it this morning, April, or was it yesterday? I think it was this morning. Yesterday. Yesterday. We I, were, I listened yesterday. Yeah, we were listening to the National Wake Up Call and she just gave different ideas on how to invite people. She said to like send challenges to people instead of like actually inviting. Like, yeah. hey girl, like happy Monday. Twenty push-ups. Let me know when you get it done. Like, and then she had like people. Um, then she had like people messaging her back, like I did it, you know, or whatever. And then she just like invited from there. So like making it instead of making it like weird. Um, she just like made it fitness fun kind of thing. Yeah, those podcasts, Kelly. Which one? The one on the is it your left? Your left. The white or black one? White one. Okay. If you just click on it, all of them will be on there. And I know this really cool coach. Her name's Megan Geese. She has a really good call on there too about recruiting and stuff. Man, yeah, I maybe. think I listened to that one one time. Yeah, I actually listened to it once. I was gonna listen to it again because I. Like, don't remember what I said, but yeah. Um, okay, so PD, inviting, power hour, 8.30 to 9, posting, check-in, anything else you can think of? Is that me, girl? <laughs> anything else you guys can think of? Okay. Okay, 